Hello, my name is Brett Biller, Director of Performance at Club Med Academies. Today I'm here with Joao Credi, one of our junior tennis players in the academy, and we're going to be demonstrating five different exercises to help with hip and shoulder separation. Joao's going to stay stationary in the middle of the baseline, then he's going to step and rotate, and then transfer. He's always going to start with his forehand, rotation of the shoulders, and then transferring of his weight and movement onto the backhand side. Good. He's controlling that bar. We're not allowing him to waver his position of the torso. His core is nice and tight. The next drill is going to be the same exercise as the last one with the PVC pipe, but now we're making it more dynamic where the player is going to have to go through his proper steps that he goes through in tennis practice or a match. He's going to start in the middle of the baseline. He'll go through a split step and then he's going to shadow his forehand with the PVC pipe motion, transfer his weight to recover back, and then he's going to go through his backhand shadow and then recover back to the middle. Ready? Arm straight. Go ahead and split. Shadow the forehand. Big turn. Transfer forward. Recover back. Good. Recover back. We're going to do this about five times on each side just to get good repetitions. Good job. Split, one, two, rotate, transfer, recover. Split, one, two, rotate, transfer, recover. Good job. One more time on each side for me. Good. Nice big turn. Good control. Good transfer. Good recovery. Relax. The next three drills that we're going to demonstrate, we're going to utilize the medicine ball to now focus more on the power of the athlete when they're going through their forehand and backhand with the focus on still hip and shoulder separation. The first of which we're going to utilize what we call a Swiss ball. The player is going to stand with the ball between his legs, which restricts the player from uh, the movement of the hips and just the utilization and power of the core and external obliques. Go, go ahead, Joao, set up. We're going to now set up in an open stance position for him to shadow his forehand. He's going to rotate just with the shoulders and the core and not utilize the movement of the hips at all. This is allowing us to gain power and strength in the core. We're going to do five reps here in an open stance position. One more Joe out and then we're going to switch to a closed stance position so we can stay balanced. Go ahead and switch. Good. Good. Go ahead and load down a little bit more and make sure you're squeezing that ball with your legs. Good. Since we're such in a close stance, we're also working stability and balance of the athlete. The second med ball variation that we're going to show you today is now going to get away from the two separate movements of the hips and the shoulders and now bring everything together like they're going to do on the tennis court. What the second variation of the med ball is going to do is focus a lot more on speed, power, and acceleration of the hips and shoulders, which is why we're now using a 10-pound medicine ball instead of a 6-pound medicine ball. Joao's going to go ahead and set up. He's going to start on his backhand side. This first variation, he's going to step back with his back foot, load up with the hips, and then rotate and throw the ball into the fence as hard as he can. We're only going to do five times on the backhand side and the forehand side because he's exploding and this is a maximal effort drill. We want him to get plenty of rest and stop before his muscles get fatigued. Go ahead and step back, load up, and then drive forward. Good. Go ahead to the forehand side. So we're going to go the other way. Step back, load, and rotate. Now if the other drills have been done correctly, you will see that Joao's hips will come forward first and then it'll rotate the shoulders after that. Step, good. So now the hips and the sho shoulders are working together to create the rotation. The third med ball variation that we're gonna show you today is the most dynamic of all three that we showed you. It's going to include a slide step back and then forward again to increase the speed of the athlete and then to increase and maximize the power that the athlete is rotating through with his hips and shoulders. So Joao's gonna stay in the same position as last time. Instead of just stepping back now, he's gonna slide back, slide forward, and then throw the ball into the fence. Again, this is just creating speed of the athlete. So now we could accelerate a little bit more through the ball. 
Also, we're also working on transferring his weight back and then forward. That way he could also attack the ball and have a heavy swing. Again, this is a maximal effort drill and we're trying to rotate as fast as possible. We're only gonna do five repetitions on each side. Slide back, transfer forward, throw. Good job. Throw that ball into the fence as hard as possible. Reset, slide back, slide forward. Good, always start completely still and completely reset, and then you go. That completely resets the drill. Good job. Now, when you go back, I want you to transfer a little bit faster. So accelerate forward, exactly. Good job, give me one more just like that. Accelerate forward, throw. Good job, relax.